Here on Camp Ripley, we are exercising our capabilities to operate in extreme cold conditions. So as Navy divers, typically the waters that we work in, uh, they change for geographical locations. Uh, majority of the time we're diving in uh, warmer to, to intermediate temperatures. Coming up here gets us the experience to not only operate in extreme cold waters, but topside conditions as well. On the demo range, our task was to detonate 30 blocks of C4, so roughly 30 pounds. And the idea was to get familiarity with the system, to utilize the equipment in extreme cold conditions and, and find its, its faults. A few of the challenges we faced are, again, the extreme weather conditions uh, coming from a, a more southern state of Virginia. Uh, nobody was used to this, these temperatures. We qualified 38 Navy divers as uh, ice divers, uh, therefore increasing our readiness and response time anywhere across the Arctic environment. Uh, our goal here is to expose divers to the elements and various situations. That way, if they're ever deployed um, in similar conditions, they're ready and they already have similar experience in Arctic conditions. The other part of this is to allow them to see what kind of equipment we could use to better our mission and make things more convenient, things that work better under the ice, things that we could possibly purchase in the future to make our jobs more efficient. Camp Ripley is a, uh, a great place to train. It's a proven place that we can come at any, any time to get some really great ice diving experience. Uh, the weather is phenomenal here, and I see us in the future using this quite a bit. The support on this base has been absolutely perfect for ice diving. Well, Camp Ripley offers everything that you could ask for for extreme cold conditions. It's a safe training environment, has everything that we need as far as training sites go and lakes go, uh, birthing and facilities. Uh, Camp Ripley has been a huge help in, in getting all of these set up to where we have a controlled, safe environment to train. On behalf of the commanding officer of Mudsu 2 and the Mobile Diving Salvage Unit 2 family, uh, we're forever grateful for the hospitality at Camp Ripley. Everybody here is acting like it's a one team, one fight type mission and they're here to support.